I welcome our honored guests, friends, and counterparts to the opening ceremony of the Philippine Exercise Balikatan 34, 2018. This year's exercise, the 34th iteration in our strong and ever-growing defense partnership with the United States, once again includes the participation of the Australian Defense Force and the Japan Self-Defense Force, Defense Force. The Balikatan exercise has done so much to enhance our nation's interoperability in joint and combined operations and project a posture of readiness to combat any threat and strengthen relationships among the participating countries. It has been an avenue of each of us to learn and exchange the latest tactics, techniques, and best practices in various military operations. Balikatan 34, 2018 now provides us with a, a, with a venue to test and validate plans, procedures, and concepts, continuing to build on the gains of previous exercises in order to enhance collaboration between our armed forces. Let me now take this opportunity to highlight the fruits of the strong relationship and collaboration among our countries. In our fight to liberate Marawi from the Daesh-inspired terrorists, the United States continuously provided real-time intelligence that allowed our troops to effectively isolate and destroy the enemy. The U.S. also supplied guns, ammunition, rubber boats, and technical assistance and training, particularly on the operation of highly sophisticated equipment that aided our soldiers during the crucial operations. Even after the battle, the U.S. continued to make its friendship felt with financial aid amounting to 1.4 billion pesos or 26.4 million dollars, now being used to help rebuild the lives of the residents of the besieged city. I thank our American friends for, the helping, for helping us achieve total victory in Marawi. Sir, thank you very much, sir. In a personal note, as a previous unified commander of the Western Mindanao Command in the liberation of Marawi, my deepest appreciation to the Special Forces Task Force Philippines. Thank you very much, sir. In a gesture of support to the AP modernization, our Australian counterpart provided us 20 million worth of assistance over the four years and included specialized training conducted with Filipino troops, which including myself, sir, ma'am. I'm a product of your uh, master's program. I thank all our Australian friends for their significant assistance in Marawi and in enhancing the capabilities of the AP, particularly in urban, urban fighting. The AP is looking forward for an increased Philippine-Australian cooperation engagement in the near future. Japan has always aided and supported the Philippines in its effort to bring about a just and lasting peace in Mindanao. The Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, turned over recently the three farm-to-market roads amounting to $1.117 billion to benefit farmers in Mindanao, conflict-affected areas, and as support to the region's lasting peace and development. JICA has also been supporting the peace process in Mindanao since 2002 with the International Monitoring Team. The Japan Bangsamoro Initiatives for Reconstruction and Development, or the JBIRD, implemented more than 30 major projects in Mindanao that help enhance the economic backbone and connectivity of the region. Likewise, the Department of Trade and Industry in the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao and the Japan International Cooperation Agency gathered more than 350 stakeholders in Mindanao in a forum promoting local industries to potential investors and businessmen. For all this support, I thank our Japanese friends for their continued assistance and in the rehabilitation of the people and city of Marawi City. These noble actions attest the formidable band amongst our countries. 
It is my hope that we continue to strengthen and build upon our experiences as allies during the Marawi crisis and through these exercises. And our bilateral and multilateral activities work together for peace, security, and stability in the Asia-Pacific region. I now urge the Filipino soldiers participating in this exercise to make the most of this opportunity to learn from and to teach your American, Australian, and Japanese counterparts. Continue to strengthen our relationship with our allies and partners. Work with them to identify the gaps in our operational capabilities and competency. Observe and learn from them that you may improve yourselves and your units, ultimately building a world-class armed forces able, able to more effectively serve and defend our nation and contribute to peace and security in the Asia-Pacific region. The specter of terrorism and the constant threat of national disaster demands a higher degree of preparedness from all of us. I expect nothing but the best performance from you in the four major components of this exercise, namely the staff exercise, command post, command post exercise, or the staff X, CPX, joint interoperability events, combined interoperability events, and lastly, the humanitarian civic assistance events. As we formally open the 34th PHUS Balikatan exercises, I encourage everyone to maximize this opportunity to broaden your horizons and strengthen camaraderie with each other. To all the personnel from the Philippines, the United States, Australia, and Japan, let me express my heartfelt gratitude for your participation in this year's Balikatan exercises. On a lighter note, I urge or our Filipino participants, our foreign participants, to feel at home and enjoy our world-renowned Filipino hospitality. General Sir, Nicholson Sir, my, the White House is open for you, sir. You will find that our proud heritage and culture is not that far from yours, that we all share the same beliefs and principles of honor, service, and patriotism. With all that said, on behalf of a grateful armed forces of the Philippines and of the government of the Philippines, I welcome you to the 34th PHUS Balikatan exercise. Let us work together, shoulder to shoulder, and put our hearts and minds to the improvement of our partnership and our capabilities. Remember that more we sweat in training, the less we bleed in, that, in battle. In closing, allow me to quote the former U.S. President Bill Clinton. We all, we all do better when we work together. Our differences do matter, but our common humanity matters more, end of quote. Thank you and welcome to the Philippine-U.S. Exercise Balikatan 34, 2018. Now, by the authority vested in me as the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, I hereby declare the Philippine-U.S. Exercise Balikatan 3428 formally open. Thank you. Thank you very much to the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. We shall witness the unfurling